welcome to the annual Shell Point 4th of July celebration. This 4th of July at Shell Point was all about apples. Apples were everywhere at the Independence Day celebration at the Village Church. The theme American as apple pie was well represented as everyone was welcome to a slice complete with whipped cream. While folks were getting seated for the Independence Day Band performance, SPTV spoke with some in attendance. Well, I'm setting uh, between a lot of color here that's uh, so traditional for the 4th of July, uh, lots of red, white, and blue. Here's Judy Owen. Judy, uh, are you enjoying the 4th? Very much so. I'm over overeating, of course, naturally. Isn't that what you do on the 4th? Of course. Picnic food? Yeah. Yeah, I started a few days ahead, I think. <laughs> Well, so did I. We're going to listen to some music and, uh, and celebrate what it's all about. I'm looking forward to the music. I think this is a great place. It's a great day. It's a great day. That's a great shirt. I like that shirt. Yeah, my wife got it for me. Uh, so she didn't hand make it from a flag? No. She didn't hand make it. She could, but she didn't. Well, that's good. It looks very nice on you. Thank you very much. These I use every chance I get. And today was a golden opportunity. These are really my skiing, snow skiing suspenders. Really? So I used this opportunity to show them off. So where do you go snow skiing at? Used to, past tense. You're smart now. You, <laughs> you stay away from it, right? You got it right. The last run down, I made it. It was sunshine. I ended up in one piece. I said, thank you, Lord. That was 52 years of snow skiing. Wow, well, you ended on a high note for you sure. Did. Really enjoyed it, and I'm really enjoying the crowd here, and I'm looking forward to the performance. So, how long you been here? Just over a month. Well, congratulations. What do you think? Enjoying it. It's a beautiful place. Love all the greenery and the flowers. And now, what neighborhood are you in? Harbor Court. Harbor Court. That's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. right here on the island, where all the action is. We are. And beautiful view of the water and enjoying it. You know, you, you dress kind of like Uncle Sam, uh, but I figure maybe you're Aunt Sam. I, I'm the aunt. Yes. <laughs> yes, indubitably. <laughs> and it's my grandson's birthday today. And ever since he was two years old, I would take him to the fireworks and tell him that all those people were there celebrating his birthday. <laughs> wow. Well, it's a wonderful day. Nice to have you guys here doing your thing. Yeah, and you're taking pictures of all the action and the... The band is coming up, and um, yeah, I'm hoping to do that. Hoping to do that. Sounds good. I'm gonna take it by your hat that you were in Korea. Yes, I was. Yeah. And I, my my fame is I left Korea the day the truce was signed. As I was flying out of Korea, they announced that that the, the truce truce had been signed. What about that? So every time the 4th of July rolls around, it has a special meaning to you, I imagine. It sure does. It's hard to believe it was 70 years ago. That time makes me fast. pretty old, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you at my age, time is flying by. Oh, it, it, it flies by. You're right. It's my birthday today. No fooling. You were born on the 4th of July? And I have a twin brother that was also born on the 4th of July. My goodness, I never knew that. Well, happy birthday and happy 4th. He's in Alaska. My twin brother's in Alaska. But it's, I wear this hat every day, every 4th of July, all day long. So with you here in Florida and your brother in Alaska, you can literally say from sea to shining sea, you're celebrating the 4th. Yes. I make sure I always come to this concert because it's very special. Yes, it is. It really is. It's beautiful. They do a wonderful job. Well, we're glad you came out and uh, and brought that beautiful hat. Oh, I made that a couple of years ago. Did you really? <laughs> yes. That's nice. We at King's Crown, we have little things that we make every year, so I made this this year. You know, so it's kind of fun. What, what country are you from? Poland. Poland, yes. We're glad to have you here. And my husband was English. That's why I'm stuck with this English name, <laughs> Land Castle. Well, we're glad you're here and, can, and welcome home to Shell Point. Oh, thank you. Band conductor August Toma took the stage and the concert began with a national anthem led by Pat Speck. Will you please rise?
introductions and narrations were performed by musician and master of ceremonies, Kaz Obi, who presented some unsung heroes of the American Revolution. Their stories also need to be told. These unsung heroes of the struggle for independence. Salem Poor was an African-American slave who purchased his freedom, became a soldier, and rose to fame as a war hero during the Battle of Bunker Hill. Sybil, age 16, rode at night in a driving rain 40 miles to alert the militiamen to report to her father in the morning to repel the British. The struggle for independence required money, lots of it. A Jewish financial broker, Chaim Solomon, immigrated to New York. He aided the Continental Army by converting French loans into ready cash. Think of Pedro as the Rambo of his day. He fought in the War of the Revolution from beginning to end. In 1781, Francisco was ordered to join the army at Yorktown, where at last he was witness to the British surrender. Pedro Francisco, you are part of what makes America beautiful. Many patriotic favorites were performed and everyone seemed to enjoy the celebration.